neither height nor depth nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans chapter 8 verses 39. Hello family, warmest welcome back again to the Lovista channel. Thank you so much for coming back. Today I'm taking you way back to my younger age where I enjoy these fried hard boiled eggs at every single party that I attended. These were made into skewers or kebabs like this. So I just thought of sharing it, looking at how rough these signs are and I really hope you give this a try and it's going to help out with your summer housewarm parties and every event that you plan on making. It's absolutely delicious and very economical and not so tedious to make. Please stay tuned while we make this together. You are going to absolutely love it so much. Let's get started. <laughs> So here I'm going to use a crate of eggs. We have very simple ingredients and I also have some seasoning. I have some hot spicy pepper powder but it's quite optional. I also have some salt and vegetable seasoning, oil to fry the eggs and some water to of course boil the eggs and some breadcrumbs to make this egg very crunchy on the outside. I do have some veggies to make this eggs very colorful and beautiful. So. I'll list everything below in the description box so please be sure to check that out all that I will start off with is of course boil my eggs this is going to be boiling for about 12 minutes all right on a medium heat please add enough water to cover all the eggs as you see on your screens and also sprinkle about a tablespoon of salt which is going to make this egg even more tastier okay so while at it i'm going to prep my vegetable starting with the onions you feel free to choose any form of vegetables that you prefer i like to chop them in these sizes also feel free to choose any size and forms that you prefer and for the onions especially i like to chop them first and just Put it and soak it in water for about five minutes before i use them and then proceed to chop all the bold peppers and the carrots that i have all right I'm done cutting off all the vegetables and I'm going ahead to check on my eggs which at this stage is perfectly cooked. We did not disturb these eggs at all. They've cooked to perfection. Yes, this happened after 12 minutes on a medium heat. Some people also cook it on at 10 minutes but trust me, that will be a, very, a little bit undercooked for me but 12 minutes here is perfect and I also put in some water in a bowl and add some never attempt to you know take the shells out while it's that hot okay so be sure to cool them gently down and this way it is very very easy for you to remove the shells we do not also want the eggs to end up breaking because you're going to fry it we want it to look perfectly nice outside okay so take note of that and while doing this you also realize that they crack open themselves they give you weight right <laughs> it makes it so 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 easy all right so go ahead and take off the shells and you will be ready for the next stage absolutely simple to do this now this is a real struggle for every Ghanaian. we want to eat it right away <laughs> But please, please try to exercise some self-control, okay? <laughs> I was so proud of myself, but I, I ended up having one in my mouth, okay? Just one, okay? 
<laughs> so we are done now and even though this was seasoned with some salt we want to go ahead and season it a little bit more by cracking two whole eggs and with that i'll add my vegetable seasoning and my pepper powder mix it all together this is so good and put it on the eggs this is some eggs on eggs kind of vibe right now <laughs> they are well seasoned and once it's done i'll go ahead and sprinkle a bit of the breadcrumbs you can choose to also use some flour but i really find breadcrumbs to be very great for this recipe okay so that the outside is going to be extremely crunchy but in the inside oh my goodness so soft and so so tender to have so we're going ahead to give it a deep frying experience so in our pot we go ahead and add our oil please make sure that you have enough oil oil to cover the eggs okay because you do not want the eggs to soak up all the oil okay and make sure that the oil is very warm when you start dropping your eggs be very very careful as it might be very dangerous at this point it can just explode <laughs> so be guided be very guided you can cover it if you so wish okay so we are going to deep fry this for five to six minutes not more as it's going to end up really really getting dry and we don't want that okay so here you go so beautiful the first set are done go ahead and keep on frying until you are done with all the eggs all right <laughs> We all know that we are living in hard and very tough times. So this is a very economical way to get your party started. And it's also not tedious at all to work with. And absolutely delicious and nutritious. And just have a look at these. These look absolutely gorgeous and they taste so incredibly delicious. Advisable for you to allow it to rest on the towel paper just so that it release at the excess oil that it has once that is done just go ahead and put it on the skewers or the steaks oh my goodness it's so so good and it's all about your way of um creativity how you want it to attract your guests oh my goodness <laughs> when i see this at any event i'm taking it because i love 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 this <laughs> and this can also be put in stews for your watche it can be paired with your jollof please give this a try this summer for your housewarming parties it's absolutely tasty today we just paired it with some soya powder oh my goodness i do have a recipe of that as well i'll link it here and below as well so please be sure to check that out very convenient for all your summer grills and all your kebabs so so good i really hope you give this a try just imagine having this at your summer housewarming parties absolutely gorgeous and tasty thank you so so much family for watching right to the end please be sure to share to a few friends and family give me a thumbs up and also comment down below and let me know what you think about this recipe and if this is your first time here hello my name is lovia from lovey statch my main goal here is to jail you up into making your own delicious meal right at the comfort of your home so please be sure to come on board and subscribe to join the family for amazing new recipes every week thank you so very much family for watching once again and just know that you are so beautiful just the way you are see you in my next one bye <laughs>